I've been surviving lately on drinking a whole bunch of Diet Pop and Skittles. I'm going to die very soon. Now, this video uh, basically is more of a, hey, this and that video before we get to this and that, uh, like the title said. Uh, so, you know, if you're watching this around the time I upload this, um, the show Breaking Bad, which is very popular right now, uh, is for $15 a box set season one through four on Amazon right now, which is a pretty good deal. Uh, I picked up the first four. Check it from Amazon. Now, ooh, I've watched season one. Now, everyone has been talking about this show. Like, I don't think you can go anywhere on the internet without running into a Breaking Bad video somewhere, somehow. Like, Philly D will talk about uh, Breaking Bad. Freaking everyone else. Um, so what I'm trying to say is, this show is super popular and people want to know about it. Now, I watched, as I said, season one, which only contains seven episodes. But before you go, why would I buy seven episodes? They're an hour each, uh, which, you know, seven hours, it's out of commercials. It's about six hours, $15, $60 kind of value for 15 bucks. That's how I see it. Not too bad. Um, and to explain this show for people who know nothing about it, from what I've seen, it's basically about a... Spoilers, maybe? I don't know. A chemistry teacher, a school chemistry teacher, who at one point was really, really big in uh, chemis the chemistry division of like learning and like scientific chemistry. And in the end, he just became a school teacher. And he... It starts out kind of a man who's like... You can tell if one person does something wrong, he's going to snap and kill everybody. It just kind of seems that's how he is, where it's like a kid will do something, he gives them the look, and it's like, this guy is going to snap. And then we find out that he has cancer. And he has, they're saying, anywhere from a couple months to a couple years to live. Which means he's going to die. Uh, the cancer is that bad. It's lung cancer. So he coughs a lot. He'll pass out once in a while because of the lung cancer. And he tries to hide it from the family. But in the States, if you don't know, if you live in Canada like I do, in the States, you pay for your hospital bills. <laughs> That's rude to do, but Canada, if you don't know, has free health care. Uh, so, yes. But uh, it's thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars for anything from chemo just a, just a doctor's visit if you go in in america i could be wrong correct me if i'm wrong but in america if you walk into the doctor's office just for a checkup it's like a hundred bucks i'm not sure if that's true but from a canadian that's what it looks like uh so it's a lot of money and he he knows he's gonna die so why why spend thousands tens of thousands of dollars to do all this stuff if he's just gonna die and his family's gonna go in debt because we already know there's credit card issues in the family. So, his idea is to group, group up with a student of his from years ago who makes meth. <laughs> and he's a chemistry teacher, a very, very good guy like in the chemistry division, and a guy who knows how to make meth. And they're going to make meth, the perfect meth, as you will, and sell it and get a lot of money. One, money for his family. Two, money for the bills. And three, if he gets caught or whatever, he's gonna die soon anyway, so he has nothing to lose. But then you think about it this way, he has a family. Now his family consists of a wife, which I personally don't like, and the wife's uh, sister and his their uh, her husband. The wife, in my opinion in the show, is a, uh, sorry, is a cunt. Um, she's, I don't know, she just, I work, okay, I'm just saying, I work in a convenience store where I see a lot of different personalities walk in and out, and I get to see how people are, and just her, now, she's an actor, right? So I'm not saying about the actual person, but her, how she acts as character, she's kind of a cunt. And her, her sister is even worse, we find out throughout the show that her sister steals, and what makes it even better, the sister's uh, husband yeah, is a cop, a high drug busting cop. So of course there's that whole thing where if he gets caught, it's probably gonna be by this brother. Now his son, I'm not sure if I mentioned yet, his son is actually a uh, uh, handicapped 
uh, yeah, his son's handicapped. Uh, it looks like he has a brittle bone where he has to use kind of like those those uh, walker kind of. They look like skis kind of, but those walkers. And he's got a weird voice. Um, his speech patterns are very strange. So I'm not sure 100% what's with the kid, but he, like it, it seems like it's not an act. You know, like it seems like this actor, who is an actor, actually is like this in real life. So, and if he isn't, you're good at acting. I don't like your character, but you're a good actor. Um, but if you're actually like that, hell, even better, you know, good for you acting, doing that kind of thing. I don't know. But, um, so throughout the show, season one, uh, it goes anywhere from him almost getting caught to him quitting doing it just after a few episodes to him actually having to kill somebody and then hide the bodies and then starting up again. Uh, doing it, and then in the end, actually finding a drug lord to sell to, which of course the season ends with him uh, making deal like this deal with a very high drug lord. So instead of selling little baggies of meth, they can sell pounds of meth, mess, meth, and get a lot more money that way. Um, and throughout the show, he actually gets chemo, uh, so he he's actually bald. So on this cover. He's actually bald. Now, if you don't know, the actor who plays the main character, which I'm really bad at names, so I couldn't tell you names. Um, Walter, 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 Walter White. That's his name. Um, he's actually the father from Malcolm in the Middle. If you remember the show Malcolm in the Middle, he's the father, and it's really weird. Now, last thing I want to say before we, I say anything else is this is a drama, okay? It's There's no... It's not a comedy. There are some funny elements, but it's, it's a drum. It's a straight-up TV drama. And it's good. And I like it. Um, I see why it's as popular as it is, but season one uh, is a season one, if that makes any sense. It's not great. It's not like the greatest thing ever. It's a show where I can see it being better. And, well, obviously it has, because it's on the fifth, fifth or sixth season of this show. Which means like hell he hasn't died from cancer yet apparently i've heard spoilers but don't don't spoil anything farther than what i'm doing here um and you know i can see it getting a lot better but season one it, it's like what, what i'm trying to say is i can see the people who watched it when it was airing on tv going you know what i'll watch i'll, I'll check out the next season but i can also see people go yeah okay that's all right i'll stop so you know good on what it did it, it did well Obviously, it did well. And uh, I just noticed something that's actually wrong on this cover. Uh, the show, the smoke that comes out of the vehicle when they're cooking meth is yellow, but the smoke on here is red. Hmm. Um, oh, unless that's supposed to be another scene. This actually covers actually a scene in the show, him without the pants and everything. Watch the show to understand, but let me just wrap it up here. Breaking Bad Season 1 is actually quite, quite good. And if I was you, I would bulk buy it. Uh, so, so you can have it all now. Cause say, say if you like it, this this sale or any sale you find it, if you find it on sale anywhere, it isn't gonna last forever. So pick it up and watch it. And I spent sixty dollars on the sh what I have uh, seasons one through four, and this is about a sixty dollar value in my head because I have a job. If you don't have a job, then you know it's your money mind might be different. But um, yeah, I recommend going to see it. I don't want to give it a star rating, you know, but if you really want to hear a star rating for some weird reason, eh, 3.5 to 4. 4, I feel better about saying 4. And I'll be watching season 2, obviously, because I own it and it's sitting right there. Um, and yeah, it's quite good. And that's why I haven't been doing any anime reviews or anything. But, to anyone who's actually still here watching this video, and watch my stuff for other reasons, I got a lot of stuff to show at the end of the month, and we're only eight days in. So yeah, have a good one.